Is it perfect? No, by no means. It's not even symmetrical. But will it work? Yeah, I think it will. <laughs> it looks so goofy. <laughs> All in the name of science, people. All in the name of science. <laughs> In my mind, there's two kinds of performance. There's high horsepower, high power performance. Then there's the opposite, exact opposite end of it, which is high fuel economy, fuel economy performance. You know, when you see a car that gets like 55 miles per gallon, 60 miles per gallon, that's performance. That is hard to do. A ton of engineering, all that good stuff, you know? So uh, it's something that always piques my interest. I love high horsepower, but I also really love high fuel economy. So anyways, uh, this thing being a V8, supercharged, all that, it's tuned. It gets what feels like 14, 15 miles per gallon, maybe less. I wonder how high of an MPG we can actually get with this car. So uh, what I want to do, uh, we're going to go to the gas station, fill it up all the way to the top until it clicks, full tank. I'm then going to drive around one of, the, one of the loops we have out here. It's about 20 minute drive. Uh, I'm going to go as consistent as I can to 65 miles an hour, just 65 the whole way around. Uh, it's probably going to be like, 20 miles maybe 30 at the most uh, i'll stop at the same gas station fill up the tank all the way to the top and then see what my mpg is actually going to be the next step is i'm going to do everything i can to make this as fuel efficient as possible you know without ripping out the interior i'm going to try to keep that consistent uh we're going to tape it up i might have time to put some covers over the back wheels reduce a lot of that drag and then do the same exact circuit coming back, fueling up again, and seeing what that MPG is. Uh, Before we do this fuel economy thing, we can rip it one last time. All right, so this is the very first fill up. We're gonna run it until it pops so we know it's an absolute full tank of gas. And then we'll start our first baseline journey across uh, so we can establish what the MPG is. And then from there, do our light modifications to get hyper miles, hyper mileage as they call it, see the absolute best we can do. Also on the interior, Everything that's in the car is going to stay in the car, so it'll all be the same equal weight. There it goes, it just popped. Um, I'm going to reset the odometer. Current mileage 85,680 with 0,000. I'm going to try my best to maintain 65 miles an hour across this whole path. Obviously, there's things that will happen as far as, uh, you know, cars being in the way, maybe traffic slowing down, things like that. I'm gonna be as close as I can to getting a perfect real world test. I would like to do, to do this with no AC, but uh, it's November in El Paso and it's still, <laughs> I'm a cook in here without the AC. So maybe in December I could do it with no AC, but we'll run it as is, same apples to apples challenge. So let's see what we got. We're ready to go. No, we're not, it didn't start. Of course. <laughs> Let's find out what's going on. <laughs> Whatever, as long as it starts. All right, now we're starting our journey. AC at 65, I just turned it off for a second. Uh, full tank of gas, ready to go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, who am I kidding? It's a bunch of guys. No woman's watching shit like this. <laughs> Anyways, we're back from our first, uh, I guess you'd call it like a base lap to see what the car gets MPG wise on its own. Uh, as far as uh, the journey, it was 41.1 miles. So really close to just 41 even, which is great. Um, we're currently at 85.721. I'm gonna put a full tank of gas in it and we'll see how much we used over that 41 miles. Then we'll do our slight light modifications and then do it again, see what we get.
So one of the reasons you see decreased MPG is because of air resistance. Air resistance happens whenever you have uh, bad crooks, nooks, crannies, and that causes uh, tumbling of the wind, which leads to drag. That drag adds up over the car, all over the place. So wherever you see stuff like this, that can lead to drag. Granted, the body lines on this car are really tight, so that's useful for increased MPG. But you see where the lights meet up? That can be dragged. This lip down here can be dragged. All of the air intake vents. That can all lead to drag. So we're going to go through the entire outside of the car. And we're going to put... I brought duct tape and I brought this aluminum foil tape. So <laughs> we're going to try the aluminum foil tape. But uh, now you know why I decided to wax the car. It wasn't for MPG. It's for the fact that Hopefully this tape comes off without fighting me and, and uh, ruining the paint that I hope to keep. But <laughs> either way, I'm prepared for it. Either outcome I'm prepared for, we'll find out. It is complete. First off, wow, that took much longer than I anticipated. Second off, is it perfect? No, by no means. It's not even symmetrical. But will it work? Yeah, I think it will. <laughs> That's so goofy. <laughs> All in the name of science, people. All in the name of science. <laughs> someone, might, someone might think that this is a style. But like I mentioned, it's just to see if there's even a possibility of a change. Now for cooling, I did leave a little tiny slot, which I don't think I'll even need, because I mean, look at all that air space down there. I'm gonna be on the highway, so I don't think it'll be much of an issue anyways. Like I mentioned, is it perfect? No, it's not even symmetrical. But will it work? I'm thinking yes. I used every bit of that tape, I ran out of it, so I mean, what we got is what we get. Now, uh, in my excitement, I didn't realize I Tape the door shut. <laughs> so I'm going to climb in, do some hazard style, but it'll all be worth it. All right, let's get started. Now, if this looks horrible, I'll just go ahead and uh, not include it. So, you know, that's cool. I'm sure I look like a crackhead, but. <laughs> all right, I'm going to set up the GoPro in the same position. Uh, I'm going to exit the same way I came in the first time, which is. Uh, 300 yards that way, so I, it may affect, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. Here we go. Here we go. Whew. Well, bad news, somebody, sorry, somebody messed up and probably crashed. We are 32 miles in coming to a stop. Uh, intake temp has been 144. Come on, that's the one thing I needed. All this hard work kaputs because someone's an idiot. Well, we have to do, deal with what we got. 32 miles and then we have to come to a stop. Oh, slowing traffic. Look, it barely even happened. Sorry, I'm just, uh, yeah. Oh, that's actually. You guys are idiots. Think now I've got to say, uh, I thought that guy caused a car crash and I was pretty upset, but the local Instagram posted a video of what actually happened. Check it out. So bear with me, the qual quality is pretty low, but you can see that Jeep in the center. He takes the lane, forcing that Toyota into the truck like a pit maneuver. 
and the damn Jeep took off. It's insane. So I was mad at the Toyota driver thinking he was at fault, but look at it. Everything's on camera nowadays. It's pretty it's amazing. A Toyota Corolla facing left against the guardrail and a truck T-boned it. Not T-boned it, but I think it got pit maneuvered, you know? Oh my God. Yep, it just happened. The guy just got out of his car. Some big old fat guy. Anyway, it's not a big deal. But shut down ASAP all right let me get this so we've made it back uh, engines off I'm gonna turn the lights on so you can see the gauges current mileage 85 762 and 41.1 it says 41.2 so we're 0 0.01 of a mile further so eh, whatever close enough I guess but it sucks like I mentioned uh, that car wreck really threw a wrench in my stuff but anyways I'm gonna climb out this window, bear with me, and then uh, we're gonna fill it up. Let's see what the numbers say, man. I mean, let's find out. Math is math. Let's let's see if uh, we got anything. Let's see if it was worth my time. All right. Oh no, air resistance. Damn it. Oh well. No can do this. It's like this gas was leaking, it was leaking gas as you can see. Once again, my damn numbers are skewed. I just can't get an honest test to save my life. Anyways, I think it's identical. Oh no, oh no. 